Hello everyone, I'm back with another Reddit Addicts episode. If you find my videos entertaining, please kindly subscribe and like them. Thanks to everyone for your suggestions and kind notes. Now, let's get started with today's exciting stories. Caught wife cheating and was wondering thoughts. This will be a long story so sorry. I'll try and keep it as brief as it can be. We've been together for over 21 years now and been married for 17 years. We have three kids together. I've always trusted my wife and I've been confident that when she was getting together with guy friends or co-workers, that nothing was going on. She had started going out after work randomly with an ex-boss, male, who would drive an hour from his place of work to meet her at her place of work or nearby. I was told that they would go for a run and then dinner slash drinks. Mind you this was probably taking place around 2016-ish. This didn't bother me at all as I trusted her. One day however I got an anonymous message on Facebook, created from a fake account that basically was stating that they've seen my wife with another guy several times, and didn't know how to approach me about it but wanted to alert me to it. They made mention about seeing them on trails and at a restaurant and made comments about how they had thought about going to my sister. I somehow convinced myself that this message was a fake and from a bot per se. Soon after I did talk with my wife about how this guy must have other motives if he's driving an hour after work to run four miles, with her and avoiding going home to be with his own wife and kids which were still an hour from where they were running. My wife told me that she squashed this connection after our conversation. Fast forward to 2020. My wife was our with a different ex-boss, again, male. When she comes home she tells me about this night and how he was connecting with a different girl at the bar, and ended up doing some things with this girl at the end of the night and sending some pics to my wife. Her telling me this got me to start looking at her messages whenever she would be away from her phone. She had always told me that she deleted old text messages, which is another red flag, so the messages that I would look at would always be a bit fragmented. Anyways this guy would send my wife pics and videos of him having sex with other girls. So this kept me on high alert and constantly wanting to look at her messages. One morning during winter of 2021 we were away on a family vacation. I found myself glancing at my wife's phone while she was away from it. I caught a texting conversation between her and a female friend that spoke of a guy that my wife was seeing. The feeling that came over me was unexplainable. I had convinced myself that nothing was going on with things in the past but now reality was setting in. As I continued to catch fragments of conversations I learned that my wife was going out with this girlfriend, and they would then meet up with some guys later in the night. To make matters worse the guy that my wife was connecting with was a friend of hers in town. I start to see that her and this guy are using other apps to communicate so I try and monitor those conversations, but she is fairly quick to delete these messages. I would even see her texting him while laying next to me in bed while she probably thought I was sleeping. I would see their good morning messages as well. It became a lot. To make matters worse we were getting work done in our house and I came to find out that my wife also had conversations in these other apps, with the contractor as she either was or was trying to get together with him. While all of this is going on and again I'm catching fragments of conversations due to the deleting that's going on I also caught a text, from what was her current boss then and he makes mention of hooking up together. The more I write this out the more I'm feeling extremely stupid and like a chump. Anyways with all of this going on, I reach out to the guy in town's wife via text as I wanted to get her on my side and make her aware. This backfired on me as she thought that my text to her was a fake and showed her husband. He then reached out to my wife who then came driving home crying to me. We then discussed some of what I mention here. I told her to break things off with these guys and she has told me that she did. During the few months of me trying to find out what was going on while watching her texts when I could, I went from being a very confident and happy male to being someone who can't get this stuff out of his head, and can't even explain the way I feel about all of this. 
My wife and I have had a couple of conversations over the past couple of years since this has all transpired to help with what goes on in my head but it is still very tough on me. It is 2023 and two years since this all came to a head. I never thought to reach out to this community beforehand but am wondering what people might tell me. What advice would you give to me in trying to work through this and save our family? Comment 1. It all depends my friend if she was the love of his life and her a manipulating narcissistic cow who convinced you otherwise. It's amazing what you can be conditioned to and your mind really doesn't want to accept especially her being the mother of your kids. Also if you, the man, has came from a family where your parents have been in faithful stable loving relationship you base your trust and ideas of trusting your spouse on that generally. I'm not saying the signs to catch her and make her suffer early on were not there I'm just saying it's easier to see when not in the eye of the storm. Yes, I was married to a manipulating narcissistic bitch who did many things including slowly separation from my side of the family. And believe my I'm mo fool in life or coward but it can happen to anyone. Comment 2. You're trying to save something that does not exist. This is only going to cause you frequent and more intense pain over time. Your best option is to get into therapy for yourself. You need to develop a way to process your wife's betrayal. Once you have worked that through you will have some more insight into what you should do next. Your wife is a serial cheater and the likelihood of her stopping that activity is extremely small. It usually takes something extreme to happen to a serial cheater for them to have the desire to fix them slaves and without that they do not change. The saddest part of the equation is that because you have already accepted that she betrayed you and continued to try and work out your relationship she has even less respect for you than she did when she was cheating on you with multiple people, that is the nature of infidelity. Story 2 Cheating wife gets caught with her boss after two years of infidelity. So. I, 39M, just caught my wife, 38F, of 14 years, together 17 years, cheating on me with her district manager of Aramark Refreshments for about two years now. Before I get into details, there is a backstory to all of this. I want you all to get a full picture and decide if she was entitled to cheat or did I just pay off a debt I owed. In 2012 I took my wife to get her tonsils removed at the hospital. They gave me her belongings as she couldn't take them inside surgery room. Her phone kept buzzing. I took it upon myself to see who was blowing her up and I read tons of inappropriate emails with another man at work. She was reading Fifty Shades of Grey at the time and was referring to the man as her Christian Grey, something she would call me. I was pissed and wanted answers but unfortunately, she couldn't talk after surgery so on the drive home I handed her a piece of paper with a pen to answer all the questions. I had and she wrote, it was nothing but flirting. I grabbed my two-year-old and briefcase of clothes and went from CA to AZ on a mini weekend getaway with my support team, my best friend and his wife, to stay away from her for a while. Once back she informed me that she deleted her email and it won't happen again. Fast forward a few years and I just could never get over the fact that she would betray me the way she did. I wanted to get even and felt that it was the only way to move forward from it. I met a client who showed me some attention. We started texting and while my wife would go out with her friends and party, I would secretly leave my son with my mom and go see this woman. We had an affair and eventually fell in love with this other woman. After about nine months, my affair partner tells me she's pregnant. First thing that came to my head was playing Usher's confession song and actually confessing to my wife, which I did. She took it pretty well as she told me she had an idea and that God was preparing her for that moment. I told her that I wanted a divorce and would like to start a new life with this other woman. She told me that we can work things out, to go to church more and get therapy from the pastor and all should be great. How could I say no to that? I had to break the news to the pregnant AP who was under the impression that we were going to start a new life together the bad news, that we weren't. 
Fast forward a few months and I find out my wife is now pregnant. Three months apart from AP. She wanted to feel more secured over the other woman, so she basically forced us to have another child together. It's December 2014 and I went from having one kid to three kids in a blink of an eye. It's been crazy but I'm there for all my kids. Now let's jump over to present time. Wife and I have had our fair share of bumps on the road but I truly am loving the way we are raising our beautiful children. I have come a long way and have been faithful and committed to rebuilding our relationship. I go out of town for work from time to time as does she, just found out that for the last two years, she's been having this affair with her boss, every happy hour event after work, every time she spent doing overtime, every trip to San Diego or Valentine's Day in Portland. He was there keeping her warm in a hotel room. Here's how I found out, she went for drinks after work and I asked, what time do you plan on being home? She tells me 9 p.m. 9 p.m. comes around and she's nowhere in sight. I call her and call her and nothing. I get a text with a picture of her girl coworker and it's informing me that she's just grabbing a few more drinks before heading out. I found it so weird that she could text me but can't give me a call. I zoom into the picture into a napkin that was on the table and see where she's at. I drive 45 minutes from home to look for her and there she is. At the bar with her boss with his arms around her. I walk up and they were both shocked to see me. She was quick to say, okay. Bye. I'm like, bye. But I just got here, did I interrupt something? She proceeds to tell me she's closed up her tab and she's leaving. I stay with her boss. The boss is drunk at this point and he's talking to me about his wife. He tells me that she doesn't pay any attention to him and how they do whatever they want. This is the first time I meet this guy and he's getting personal. He asks me if I've ever caught my wife cheating and I proceed to let him know that I haven't but if I do, it wouldn't be a pretty sight. He orders another drink and I see my wife calling him on his phone multiple times. I found that very odd. In the middle of his drink he gets up and leaves to what I thought was the bathroom but he actually leaves the bar, I take off home, and have tons of questions for my wife. Her response was, I'm sorry I should have told you he was with us as well. I've never been the jealous type and a friend told me to check my phone records. OMG. My heart dropped when I found out she's been talking to him Monday through Friday after work for 15 to 30 minutes at a time. I confronted her with all the phone bills extending to two years ago, and she informed me that after work she has end of day reporting to do and he needs those numbers to report to his boss. It was such a good lie. Keep in mind she's not salary and clocks in and out, so in HR point of view, reporting numbers after clocking out would be considered illegal. I needed proof of their conversations, but how? I decided to record their conversations. I'm not going to mention how I did it, but once I heard what was said, my heart broke into a million pieces. She had conversations with her own cousin talking about how much he brings excitement to her life and it's not only the sex, but how funny and goofy he is. She talked about how dumb I was to believe that end-of-day calls were real. She said how they would have to lay low for a while and, where there's a will, there's a way. And then there's the conversation between the two of them, where they talked about how much they loved one another and how they make each other feel. Straight caught. I knew I was furious but didn't know what to do. Do I go to their HR? My wife just got a promotion, should I tell them it's because she's fucking her boss? I did the only thing I could think of. I contacted his wife. I did a ton of research with some help of course from a good buddy that loves drama. Contacted his wife on LinkedIn and waited for her to call. She did and I told her everything I knew. We put dates together and they've been having a blast for years now while we both were being played for fools. We did a four-way call but they denied it all even after the recordings. They both finally came clean. Now I have to ask myself, 
do I stay for the kids or leave her because my debts from my wrongdoings have been paid? She's begging for me back but I've moved out and pick up the kids to take them to school every morning. She still works under him and swears it won't happen again but how can I trust that after two years of loving another man? She let him in her heart and pants. Is this my chance to leave her and start a fresh new life or do I stick around to make sure my kids grow up with an undivided family? Is there hope for this toxic, unhealthy marriage? Should I get the district manager fired for his wrongdoings in all of this? What should I do next? I know two wrongs did not make a right. I'm here for advice if anyone has successfully kept their family together for the sake of their children. We hope you enjoyed this story. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. And before you go, please be sure to subscribe for more.